what's going on YouTube it's been a while since I've done a video upload uh, today doing a quick uh, kind of a quick instructional video DIY video on how to fix um, a leak that I discovered this morning coming from the oil filter housing you see it right there you can see the oil pretty much seeping up and flowing down and then it's been flowing down onto the oil pan and uh, pretty much causing an entire mess under here and I did a little bit of research the gasket kit that I bought comes with a new VTEC solenoid gasket. It does not come with a new O-ring for the oil pressure sending unit, but it does come with a new filter uh, gasket for the oil pressure house, uh, oil filter housing itself. I bought this from AutoZone today. Pretty much. Well, let me go ahead and cut this car off. I'll be right back. Okay, just wanted to cut that off I, indoors, as you can see, so didn't want to cause any kind of carbon monoxide poisoning here. So let's see. And of course, I'm doing an oil change while we're at it, because um, it's already due for me anyways. This is what it looks like. Um, essentially, that's the part number from AutoZone. This kit was... $14.99 plus tax and it is a fail pro kit this is the one with the screen here is the oil filter housing gasket and the one that you can't really see here kind of shaped like the number eight right there is the VTEC solenoid gasket that o-ring is actually too big to be the o-ring for the oil pressure uh, switch gasket or o-ring so today we're just going to focus on the housing unit itself and the VTEC solenoid gasket. So step one, jack the car up. Oh, man. Jack the car up, get the passenger front wheel off, grab you an oil drain pan. Let's go ahead and drain the oil out. Go ahead and drain the oil out here. I normally keep my filters on hand tight. Um, you know, some people would probably not recommend it. I do it and I haven't had any issues with it. Just keep your hand tight, let it drain out. We'll come back once we have that off. All right, step two is gonna be, you're gonna need a size 12 socket. I'm actually gonna use my cobalt brushless cordless uh, impact here. And I also have just a regular 3 8 inch ratchet. Um, but essentially, we need to unplug this plug from the VTEC, excuse me, from the oil pressure switch. And then you have three screws as you can see, one, two, and three for the oil pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with our a little tighter than I thought. So we're gonna go back with our socket here. All right, we're ready to remove the oil filter housing unit itself. We've unplugged the oil pressure sensor or switch and then we have removed these three bolts which are size 12. Uh, you'll notice <clears throat> one of them is longer than the other two. Two are the same and one is not. So right now we're just pulling this off. <clears throat> oh we have one more plug it looks like. One more plug up here. Let me pause the video, I'll be right back. All right, so the VTEC solenoid 
clip, you have to slide up by clicking this small one there. Slide this up, and then you can slide it off of whatever the clip is that's holding it up here. And then you just separate the plug or the connector as usual. So, taking that off. Again, have your drain pan. Trying to catch some of this stuff. It's going to be a mess. Oil leaks are always a freaking mess. Let me put this down real quick. All right. Now we can work. So you pretty much, this looks like size 10, two size 10 on the solenoid, and then the gasket here. Check our parts. Just want to showcase real quick. I have everything cleaned up. Um, old gasket came out there. And now I have the new gasket installed there. And it looks like it's just going to be rinse and repeat. Um, nothing too complicated about this, really, um, so far. So we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Just doing a video to show the complete reinstallation of the oil filter housing and gasket. VTEC solenoids plugged in, oil pressure sending switch plugged in. <clears throat> and now, pretty much just draining the oil to, the, to do the oil change. Uh, cleaned up my oil pan, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, we'll just add some new oil to it and then uh, run it and make sure that our leak is gone.